The Sunday evening accident left at least four people dead after a lorry reportedly lost control and rammed into oncoming vehicles in the Nderu area of Kiamba sub-county. On Thursday, area residents led by their member of parliament Paul Koinange and Kiambu women representative Anne Nyokabi convived at the accident spot for prayers and to pay tribute to the deceased. Koinange said the poor state of the road makes it a menace to motorists and advise road users to exercise caution. But they want to shed blood, so these are people who are sacrificing people indirectly. Nyokabi, on the other hand, called on the National Transport and Safety Authority to erect bombs on the road to reduce the speed of motorists. We would urge NTSA to ensure that they put up a big bump instead of the rumble strips uh, and ensure that as they inspect the motor vehicles, that are on the road, especially the heavy trucks. The two leaders also raised concerns over the emergence of rogue churches in the area. They urge church leaders to partner with locals in identifying fake pastors. We need the church to be involved by vetting which church should be given a license because most of the churches which are there, they are not actually spiritual or even they're spiritual, they're on the spiritual on the side of darkness. We have heard the, the rumors and the complaints that um, there have been a lot of uh, devil worshipping and the request for blood and this country is a Christian country, is a country that prays to God. They call for unity as Kenyans prepare for the 2017 general election.